So, hey guys, Chauci here. Uh, while laying in the couch, resting my back, I've been having some fun with Bonnie. So I've been doing some double Bonnie spear on teams, but yeah, one Bonnie is friend captain, so I can make use of the captain ability, getting guaranteed recovery orbs when hitting against call of affinity. And the other Bonnie is a sub, so I can make use of the ability to remove special binds since Bonnie can't do that as captain. So we also have the fact that to get a shame bound, we have to consume at least eight recovery orbs is the easily the worst part of this six plus. So that helps a lot when having one Bonnie as friend captain. But I was able to make some cool teams against three arena. So yeah, let's go into that. In this first team, we pair Bonnie up with one of these speedrun captains. Uh, they don't really boost Bonnie, Carrot and Wanda, but it works out anyway. And yeah, on this team, I just use the super right away. I can use the super on this team due to law. Bonnie's super is actually pretty annoying to get to work since sure she has Luffy and Zoro. But you mainly want to build Cerebral with her and there's basically no Luffy or Sword, Sword or Cerebral. At least now, maybe we get some for the Annie. So yeah, usually you have to go for like Law or Hawking, stuff like that. Hardly optimal. Wagapan could also work of course, but I don't have him yet. So yeah, uh, making pretty, pretty easy work, we've been able to consume quite a few of recovery orbs. So yeah, lots of support here to remove the debuffs. Uh, one of the best parts of 6 plus bond is her minus 2 CD special now, that helps a lot like in this situation. Remove 2 CD, 1 left, Crocodile removes that final turn. Uh, I get a bit hung up here since I'm like a uh, low Laxa CD, but yeah, card one of course. I don't need their full special. I also used their special to ignore the barrier here, really. I guess she, they already do, but yeah, whatever. But yeah, easy overkill damage. Law uh, extends all of the attack and war boost for final stage. And yeah, we have Robin Jinbei here, mainly for seed reduction, like we removed the debuffs as well, but like Carrot Wanda, if I use their special, removes it anyway, so not a big deal, but we do get the Bonnie special as well. And yeah, it is a shame boundary by now, but it doesn't really matter here since we have decreased shame. Uh, moving on to the second team, we're taking on Arena Luffy and I love how this team turned out and as you see there's a random Hawkins there just so I can use Bonnie's super it is what it is pretty hard to use I think this is the first time I used my own V2 Red Shanks as captains that's pretty cool you will see that I'm doing my best to maximize consuming recovery orbs uh, that's just part of using Bonnie. But yeah, as good as she is, her first chain being a chain lock really sucks. And funnily enough, for the six star, the side grade, that one always has a chain boundary, so I don't know why they nerfed the six plus. At the same time, the six plus does have that minus two CD, which is pretty invaluable. You'll see that here with double Bonnie that all of the seed reduction means we can easily get even Katakuri back, so we can use him twice, which is pretty bonkers. Also, first time I use Katakuri on stage 3, <laughs> that's pretty random. But yeah, uh, use, I'm also going to use Shanks twice here. Miyok support. Uh, I blocked the ore boost so I could get the Miyok support, but yeah, I had to live with the attack boost. The weak attack boost, but yeah, we're going to have a lot of damage anyway. And as you see, I'm consuming some more recovery orbs. And yeah, Hawkins lets me live this death hit for free. And yeah, consume a bit more, maximize Bonnie's special. And yeah, final stage, and this is going to be quite 
the overkill. And as said, Katakuri is going to be ready again. Bonnie is of course amazing here when we get special bind and minus 2 CD. She handles all of that by herself, so it's just the spear and para left, which Kubi handles. And then Katakuri, we get an ore boost and the lake conditional. And then Shanks Kuri is ready again, so I get uh, some extra shame boundary and I'll have bigger ore boost here. Very easy overkill. Uh, one more team, and this is against Arena Hawkins. And on you know, this one, I just decided, F it, we're not going to use Bonnie's super. It wasn't needed anyway. But it's a pretty fun team. She actually pairs pretty well with Sugar, especially for content when the boss revives, since Bonnie handles two turns of chain boundary, hopefully. And two turns of color affinity, while Sugar can give two turns of attack boost, two turns of ore boost, and yeah, just give a lot of extra chain with her, with her special. So, this is the first time in a long while I've actually used Sugar, so it was a bit of fun. And I did use quite a few of, I'm not gonna say unique, but pretty cool strats like. I've never seen this in Goku use before, he, pr he probably has, but yeah, he's actually pretty cool for this content. I'm sure someone used him back in the day when this content was still fresh. But yeah, the combination of Bonnie and Sengoku handles every single mechanic this stage, so that's nice. And we get another chance to consume some recovery orbs, we actually get a shame boundary because if we don't get a chain boundary, we're pretty screwed since we won't be able to get all of the extra chain from Sugar. Yeah, easy win. As you see there, the chain was very low. But yeah, that wasn't Bonnie chain actually, that was from Tashigi special. But yeah, uh, you might also see that this is a team that doesn't remove attack down. There's 10 turns of attack down on the revive, but we're going to have so much damage that it doesn't matter. But yeah, Shirahushi Manchuri, remove the spear, full board of rainbow orbs. So we don't get the poison orbs on the revive. We use Bonnie, we get a shame boundary and a color affinity for two turns. Then we use sugar, special and super. I turn everything into, into toys. We don't need to use any special on the revive. There's very essential here to actually lock the orbs. And yeah, and now we just tap and kill, like, this is like the dream of open to see for man, you just press the win button, you don't need to do anything else. And yeah, Sugar does ignore the tap limit here, which is still one of the unique cool things about Sugar. But yeah, that's my final Bondi showcase for now, hope you enjoyed it, I had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.